Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture so I get Back to you again with another pick a card reading. And I haven't done one in like uh, three months. So <laughs> this is going to be timeless. This is going to be a pick a card reading on um, how do they feel about you. So I'm sure most of you are going to look at this in a romantic way. But for those of you that want to do something platonic, maybe a family member or a friend, girl, I got you too. It could be anything. And again, it's timeless. Um, there are going to be three piles for you to pick from, and I will show them to you uh, right now. So you have pile number one here, which is the uh, uh, rubber ducky. Pile on number two here, which is the world or the globe. And then pile number three, which is a ring. Okay, beautiful, beautiful diamond ring. So um, all you have to do is meditate, quiet your mind, pick one of the three piles, go down below for the timestamp for your pile. Um, and that's really it. Remember, these rings are all legend for team members only. Again, this is for how they feel about you. Check out some of my other pick of cards. I'll put a playlist somewhere here. Um, and again, if you like these, you can tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. And also there's a button on YouTube now that says thanks and it's a heart where you can just directly tip. So, all right, let's get started. Not me knocking everything over. getting green screened out okay pile number one this is for how do they feel about you this is for the rubber duckies so again if you like these you can tip there's a link to my pivot on below also there's a thanks button that's a little heart icon on youtube directly if you would like to tip so okay now rubber ducky makes me think of squeaky clean so that makes me think of squeaky clean image or cleaning up of an image or cleaning someone up or maybe babying someone so we're gonna keep looking at this um and see exactly how this is going to manifest okay so let's get started here five of cups is disappointment so there has to be some sort of emotional disappointment involved in this connection previously um if there isn't then there will be one right at the start because there has to be some sort of like a little bit of disappointment in the beginning like maybe a missed connection or a like awkward conversation or just something off and then we have the four of swords yes because to me this is the four of swords is like a refusal to heal or a rejection so for me when you look at the four of swords reverse that tells me that Sometimes the first initial connection or the first initial instinct or whatever, the first conversation is awkward and someone might feel rejected when they're not or maybe, excuse me, it's the truth, someone rubbed someone the wrong way or accidentally insulted someone or something like that. There was just a clashing in the beginning. Yep, Ten of Wands. And it's a burden worth having. So it's something, there was some sort of like clash or like mess and to me it's one of those things where for most of you this happened right in the beginning um and it's been awkward if there isn't anyone then your next person this is how it's going to be it's going to be a little bit awkward at first it's okay first impression is going to be a little bit awkward um if this is someone that you've previously been in a relationship with um then it's something that there was a weird period of like animosity and it's looking like there's going to be a cleaning up of all of the mess that was made so let's keep going sanctuary privacy inviolate personal space respected boundaries and taboos so to me it definitely looks like there was a period of introspection here in this connection um and a period of trying to understand so Again, I'm just seeing a clash in the beginning, and it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Barnabas and the Prince, Adventure, Discovery, Travel, Meeting, Destiny. You know you know how sometimes you meet people for the first time, and it's like in a weird place? Like maybe you were at a party and you were drunk, or maybe um, it was at a friend's thing and it was awkward or maybe they were going through something really hard in their life like they their dad just died or something and they weren't in a great place but there's just like the timing seems to be off in this energy so if this is new I would say it's going to take a while before the two of you can even understand what the hell is going on and if this is old I'm telling you that we're in a healing period um, and we're seeing another bathtub here so I don't know what I don't know if that's like some sort of significance maybe maybe I'll take a bath together I don't fucking know but there's definitely something there um but it just seems to me like there's just some, maybe they like were traveling or they weren't, they were visiting. Maybe they were visiting at first um, and then they're going to, it was hard to connect with them or just there's something where that created distance. How do they feel about you? Enchantment, the dancing princess. 
you made an impression. I'll tell you that. You fucking made an impression for sure. Expulsion. Yeah, I think you made a pretty big impression and I think it freaked them the fuck out. Taurus, stubborn energy. Okay, you challenged their ideologies and you challenged their norms. So to me, this would be like someone who's like, like if it's a romantic connection, this would be someone who's like, um, that's not my type. Like you're a brunette and they like blondes and they're like, um, you're not my type. That's like weird. So it threw them off guard. Or if they like a certain type of quiet personality and you're a loud personality or vice versa, it's like, you're not their typical thing. And I don't think they're used to being challenged. And for me, you were challenging because they couldn't quite understand you. I think you confused the fuck out of them. You did. Athame boundaries. Oh my god, I can't think of. I don't. I forgot how to pronounce this, and I just looked it up yesterday. Sundadir or fuck. Oh my god, I forget how to. I literally just looked it up. Sundara, got it. Sundara. It's a very Sundara connection where it's like, you. Were you a bitch at first? <laughs> or were they a bit? Like, were they, like, mean? I just dropped the card. Were they, like, mean? Or was there, like, was there, like, a fight or something? Was there some sort of animosity? It's either there was awkward energy in the beginning where it was, like, I don't even want to deal with this person. Get away from me. Um, or I'm confused. What are we? Like, I'm, like, what is this? Like, there's some sort of mass confusion in the beginning where, like, neither of you understood each other, which either manifested in you guys being really angry or like fighting like playfully but like kind of not like kind of being like you know a little bit bitchy to each other um or competitive or it manifested in like some really like bizarre pulled back cold energy control mm, they don't like to lose control they don't like to lose control the child is meant to be Okay, they. I do think that this person needs to grow up, and I. And that's exactly why we're seeing the rubber ducky. They have inner child wounds that need to be healed, and I wouldn't be surprised the two of you could connect over that. Um, similar trauma from childhood. Um, hello, abandonment issues. Um, and the controls about this person not really being able to give up control. I don't think they've ever had to before. I don't think they know how to. Um, and the rubber ducky to me is about cleaning shit up. And so I do think that this person wants to right wrongs and wants to heal. I think this person wants to heal more than anything. I think they there's a period of isolation for them and introspection because the bathtub to me is them like thinking about themselves, thinking about their lives, trying to understand what went wrong. I think for a lot of you, this might be someone that you haven't talked to in a while, and it's because they took solace and introspection. Um, you cannot be aggressive with this person, and you cannot be in your fighting energy. You have to be in an understanding energy, a sympathetic, empathetic energy with this person. Otherwise, it's going to fall flat. You cannot argue with this person. You can't be petty with this person. You can't be rude to this person. You can't be vengeful. You have to be the bigger person with this person because otherwise, this will never work out. If you're the type of person who's like, I'm going to show this bitch, I'm going to get even, this will not work out. You are wasting your time. And this, this is a platonic person, like a family member, a friend, even worse if you retaliate. They will retreat inwards and never speak to you again. So this person is a very sensitive soul and very fragile. And so you need to be very careful about how hard you go because i think that you this the, you guys are spiky this group is spiky i see spikes around your energy so like you're kind of used to poking and provoking and pricking people and this person can't handle that and they can't handle that energy at all they're like a little sensitive bean they're like a little baby and i know you might not want to see them that way especially if you're pissed off but that's how they are so for me this would be a connection that i would say if you can't come from a place of sweetness and kindness and forgiveness, don't talk to this person anymore because you're just going to make it worse. You should just leave each other alone because I do think that this person, this person looks at you as interesting. They find you different and unique and intriguing, but they're scared of you. So if you want to know how this person feels about you, ultimately they're kind of scared 
and they don't want to lose control and they're kind of scared of you and you could be a little scary especially if you're up front with your feelings and i don't know if this pile really thought about being scary i think a lot of times they're this pile has been used to like being hurt a lot so they're on the defense and they're not realizing that this person is not like that they don't they don't handle confrontation well they don't handle um emotions well and I'm not saying they don't have to work on themselves, but what I am saying is I do think that they're working on themselves. I just think they're slow and they're taking baby steps. And I think that this battle of control is out of control and you need to sometimes give up control. And if you really do want to connect with this person, give in one more time, give them one more chance. Otherwise, don't bother. And if you're going to be petty, this is going to go crazily bad. They're scared of you, girl. They're scared of you, period. Okay, let me, I'm going to pull a song for you guys. Let's see. Girl, not the sirens. It's Hillary Duff's with love. I told you. You need to kill them with love and kindness. Like, you need to give them love. Like, that's what you need to do. Like, you need to, you need to give them more understanding and empathy. I think that you may have demonized them. I'm confident I've got them accurately demonized. I think... Girl, shout out to all your exes from Julia Michaels. That song should have won a Grammy. If she would have given it to Selena Gomez, it would have gotten one. Anyways, um, we're not going to go into that. All I'll say is I think you need to give them some more empathy and understanding for what they've been through. And you need to give them more love. I, they, they, I don't think this person knows how to love. I don't think this person was given the love that they needed. It's a foreign concept to them. You're mad at them for not doing things because you know what love is and they don't. They don't do the things that... They don't do the things that you wanted them to do and they don't act the way you wanted them to act. Not because they can't and not because they don't want to. They don't know how. How can you act properly when you've never been given something before? Think about it. All right, if you like that, make sure you tip. Follow me on all my socials. Amphrodite everywhere. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, whatever. Um, there's a link to my PayPal down below. And also you can hit the thanks button. That's a heart um, on YouTube directly if you want to tip. All right? Good luck. Power one. Girl. Okay, pile number two. This is for how do they feel about you. This is for you who picked the world. Um, remember, if you guys like these, you can tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. And there's a direct button on YouTube that's a heart that says thanks that you can give money to directly. So we have the world here, which is cyclical behavior to me. Could also be travel. Um, but I always think of the world as like cyclical or the world in tarot. So let's see. Could also be down to earth as well. Chariot. Progress. Okay. But moving as well. So perhaps someone is moving or was moving. Perhaps someone was visiting. That's very possible. Um, but I also see that's progress. So let's keep going here. We have the nine of swords walking on eggshells. How do they feel about you walking on eggshells? Uh-oh. Oh, what happened here? death girl why is there a rebirth what happened did someone project their insecurities on someone else what is this oh no song of the siren me me i told you i was in another life i swear to god i was a siren on a rock with big tits and my tits hanging out luring men to their death i'm telling you i was i know it in my heart of hearts the call summoning voice, what does it say? To knowledge. Hold on, what happened here? Okay, solace, returning to a tree. Okay, but there was a retreat. The sea maiden promises there's a lot of water here, overseas maybe. Maybe they like the water, maybe they're both, they like mermaids in general, but the fact that there's two mermaids here, this is the mermaid deck, but this isn't. Promises. Oh, this person is actually going to follow through with what they said. Wait, 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 wait. Huh, mustard, faith. Oh. Okay. So for some of you, this is someone who said I wasn't ready or I'm not ready for anything. If they haven't told you that, I'm telling you that. 
okay, that this person was not ready for anything, whether it be friendship, whether it be connection, whether it be romantic, they were not ready. They were not ready, period. Like this is giving me like, I can't handle a serious relationship. I'm not ready for a relationship. This is giving me, um, I don't know what I want. The interesting thing here is we're seeing introspection from that. So there's the death, the nine of swords. It made you overthink. I'm seeing this as someone that's like, and again, if this is someone that you just met, I would tell you to be careful because they are going to make you feel insecure because you're going to project it onto yourself. You're going to, you're going to take it. I guess the word is you're going to internalize it. Do not internalize this. It's not anything you did. It's not anything you said. It's not the way you look, the way you act. It's them. It's them. They are not ready. If it's someone, again, that you've already had a connection with, they weren't ready. And if they didn't tell you this, I'm telling you this. This person is not a liar. You have probably demonized this person. You have probably said that this person is a narcissist or a liar. No. You are internalizing everything. This person is honest. You're pissed because you feel like they lured you in and you feel like they 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 lured, they they um led you on. And my perspective here with the faith and the promises and the solace is that I think that they did actually like you and it scared the living shit out of them and they freaked out and realized that they weren't ready. The feelings were real or the energy was real but they were not ready. And I don't think that they realized they weren't ready until it was too late. This person follows through with what they say. If they told you that when they're ready, they'll message you, this is somebody that would do that. Um, it might take a while and I would not recommend waiting. Do not wait for this person. Do not wait for this person. Because if this person and you are supposed to be together, you both will end up single at the same time eventually and it'll happen. So don't wait. But this person is not a liar. They're not. I know you want to demonize them, but they're not. Absolutely not. Fire. Lots of passion. To me, it's something that could have moved quick or could move quick. Pinnacle respect. They have a shit ton of respect for you. They do. And you need to have respect for them. Some of them feel inadequate. Some of these people, I think for some of you, they feel inadequate because they don't feel like they've ac accomplished enough in their life. Maybe they don't have enough success in their career or money or something or status or a house or a car or something. But for, for most of them, I feel like it's like they, they're, not, they're not where they wanted to be in life. So they're feeling the pressures of that. But they made a promise to you and they're going to keep it. And I don't know what that means. Bigfoot, solitude. Again, we have solitude atonement everybody getting what they deserve i think that they knew that they were headed towards a karmic kickback in their life there's something that they did that they knew they were going to get screwed over for and they didn't want to bog you down with it maybe a past ex maybe something with their family maybe their job there was something that was like falling apart in their life and they didn't want to bring you down with them with them it's almost like they wanted to protect you i think this person really does care and they're trying to protect you not only from themselves, but also from their chaos in their life. I will also tell you atonement is an interesting card here because it does tell me that they got their just desserts because they freaked out and technically led you on, even though that wasn't the intention. They did get their just desserts. You will be hearing about what happened to them. Um, this is someone that will boomerang back eventually. Again, don't wait. And it might not even be something you want by the time it boomerangs back, but this person will have gotten what they deserve and you will find out about it. I do think this person, when they boomerang back, will be different. They will be different. The death card is a rebirth. But let me tell you something. If someone is not ready for a relationship, nothing you say or do will change that. That is only a change they can make in themselves. Let me get you a song. <gasps> Miley Cyrus, give me what I want. You're not going to want to hear this, okay? You're not going to want to hear this, but you're too demanding. You put a lot of pressure on them without even realizing it, maybe it was subconsciously, but you are asking for a lot really quickly. And if this is a new connection, don't do this. 
Don't pressure them. Don't rush into things. Let them steer for a little bit. And this is the type of person that I'm going to be honest with you. If this is a new connection, you're not going to be able to like go on dates and date whatever. This is someone who you casually see, maybe friends with benefits for a while. And eventually maybe things will happen, but don't get your hopes up because they're not ready for a relationship. But if this is someone that you already know, girl, I just see, I just, they got a lot of work that they're doing. You just, your pile, y'all gonna be mad. I'll just say it one more time. Stop being so demanding. Give me what I want. Stop being so demanding. Relax. Relax. Keep it, let me, let me explain to you this way. Enjoy the present for what it is and appreciate the moments for what they are. Stop projecting into the future because hello, if you're going to be with someone for the rest of your life, you don't need to rush it. I feel like a lot of you people were like the energy was young or the connection was young and, and, and give it some time. Give people some time. Y'all are rushing shit. Oh my God. He didn't text me back. He didn't do this. He didn't do that. Give him some time. This You know what I mean? Or, oh, she's like playing games and she's going on dates with other guys. Like, what am I doing wrong? Nothing. You're doing nothing wrong. They're not ready. You're a serious person. Be fun. Okay. If you like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my people down below. And there is a new button on YouTube that's a heart that says thanks where you can tip directly to me from YouTube. Uh, Follow me to Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Aphrodite. And until next time, good luck, pile number two. I'll be later. What? Okay, pile number three. This is for how do they feel about you? Um, interestingly enough, uh, it is the diamond ring. So remember, if you guys like these, you can tip. There's a link to my profile down below. And there is a direct link. There is a heart that says thanks on YouTube where you can directly give me money through YouTube. So thank you. Um, okay, so we have the diamond ring girl how do they feel about you now i know some of you are like oh my god they're gonna pop the question this is a gift giver so maybe there's a gift coming um or a promise um something special and flashy maybe a flashy moment um before i give you a direct answer i want to pull some cards Ooh, hermit introspection three of wands distracted Devil. Ooh. How do they feel about you? Well, they definitely have a habit of avoiding and they have a habit of distracting. They can distract you with other things. Look over there. Uh, Jade Essence Hall. Like it's giving me, maybe I give you a gift to distract you. Maybe I do something flashy or big to distract you. There's definitely, there's a little bit of like burying things under the rug. What is this toxic behavior though? This pile, there's some toxic behavior. Atlantis, rapid development, excellent success. Huh. One of you is going to be really, really successful or have like a really big moment soon. I I see them either like, because you know what I'm seeing in my head? I'm like, oh, I just nailed a big client. Like I'm going to have a big party and I'm going to buy you something nice. Or let's go have a, like a big thing and I'm going to treat you really nice to a nice dinner. Or um, you having like a really successful moment where you get like a promotion and then they come out of nowhere and they're like, oh, hey, like let's, you have a promotion? Oh my God, like let's like go hang out. Like I'm so proud of you. Like there's some sort of big moment that's gonna happen for one of you or both of you and it's going to bring the two of you together. The problem here is the devil. Let's keep looking. Greenman's door, portals to the ferry, mm, an entry point. They need a way in. Oh my God, this person is looking for a way in. Okay, I know exactly what's going on here. If this is a new person, they're trying to find a way to connect with you, to not be awkward. So, you know when like you first make friends with someone and you're like, 
if like you like kind of like them, you're like trying to find an excuse to like hang out with them, that's what they're doing. If this is someone you're already connecting with or you've already connected with, they're trying to find a way back in for sure. I think there may have been some sort of toxicity between the two of you. Um, there may have been some sort of fuck you moment. And I see them with their tail between their legs trying to win you back over for sure. They're definitely trying to win you back over. So they're trying to find a way back in. Oh, water and salt. Truth. <gasps> Power, ginger. If this is a new connection, I'm going to be honest with you. If this is a new connection, this person is extremely honest, very upfront. Um, take whatever they say seriously because they're trying to find a way into your life, but they're also honest about what they want. Don't overthink their actions, listen to the words, they're very honest. If this is someone from your past or someone that you've had a connection with previously, they are finally going to start telling you the truth. They are finally going to come clean about a lot of their behavior. The power card tells me that I think that this person may have abused power in the past and now you are having the power. You have your power over this person and you should not abuse it. And I also think that this person is going to be extremely powerful. Like, I am I feel like if this is someone that you've connected with previously, I feel like, and this may not be for all of you, but this person is in charge. Because what I'm seeing is someone who owns a business and this business is going to take the fuck off. Like, this person is going to be successful as fuck, period. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if the two of you could have the potential to be successful together, like power couple, but there's definitely some sort of success between these two people, like mass, like, but it's, it's coming from them because they're the diamond ring. I see them giving you the ring and if it's a platonic, maybe it's just a friend or a family member that has a really good idea. that's going to inspire you to get, gain success, but I'm telling you that this person has, I feel like this person has money or success. And if they don't have it now, they will by maybe a stroke of luck. Oh my God, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> it's the truth. <coughs> oh my God, I peed. I'm telling you, there's something here. Maybe, mm, maybe their family, maybe they have like a family business or their family comes from something. Earth, to, grounding, containment. Expanse. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Colorless angel. If you knew this person previously and you've had a previous connection, they chased and went after something else and they realized that it wasn't as good as you. It wasn't what they wanted and that's not who they want to be. This person has shed their skin. This person... You guys are, are, this group is polar opposites. This person is your polar opposite. You guys have different upbringings, different experiences. You guys have different lifestyles. Um, you've come from different types of families. Like, to me, this would be like if you were rich and they were poor, or you were poor and they were rich. Like, it's like you guys have very, very different upbringings and I think that they were like, oh, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. And this isn't worth it. And then they chased what is their quote unquote norm, realized that it wasn't good and it didn't compare to you and it, or it wasn't what they wanted. And now they're trying to find a way in because Colorless Angel is about fighting for something for no reason. And I see them kind of coming back and, and kind of trying to sweep you off your feet and kind of trying to be like, I, I can't contain my feelings anymore. I can't contain my energy. And when I'm around you, it's explosive and it makes me feel better. I feel more powerful. I feel more confident. You make me feel really good about myself. And this person just doesn't know how to articulate their feelings. They're going to start being honest, but I don't think they knew how to articulate their feelings. 
And if this is a new person, they're going to start off in this energy. So if this is a new person you haven't talked to before, then all of this is bubbling under the surface and they're about what they say to you is going to be the truth because they're in this energy of I'm past this. So now I'm in the position where I really want what I want and if I see you, I know I want you. Like and unless they tell you that they don't really like you that much or they're not really that interested in you, then they're being honest and then they will boomerang back. <laughs> so it just depends where you are in this, but I'm telling you straight up this person, this person gets what they want, by the way. I really feel like this person, they're very, very, very charming. Very charming. And I really feel like they're resilient. I feel like they're spoiled. And they always get what they want. Always. This person is patient as fuck. They're extremely patient. This person will get what they want. And if they want you, they're going to have you. And they're going to figure out exactly how to get you. This, this, this pile... You're in for a ride, girls, or boys, but I say girls for everybody. You're you're in for a ride. You're literally in for a ride, I'm telling you right now. Okay, let's get you a song. Oh my God, wait, I need to get a different song. I can't. This is funny. I mean, it makes sense to me. Oh, you can't see it. It's What is Love. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. They don't know what love is. And they didn't know what love is. You know, sometimes you need to lose something in order to know its value. And sometimes you need to taste a different flavor to realize that the previous flavor was actually your favorite. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And the next song was So Happy I Could Die, which means I think this pile is going to get there happily ever after. I really do. Because I'm telling you right now, if this pile is older, if you're an older person, the next person you date, you're probably going to marry. And if it's not this person, it'll be the next one. And it'll be like their best friend or something. It'll piss them off. But I, I, you're going to marry your next person, I think, if you're older. All right, if you guys like that, make sure you tip. There's a link to my PayPal down below. And there's also a new button on YouTube that's a heart that says thanks where you can give me money directly. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, and Friday. And until next time, good luck.